Welcome back. This is Trixie. Not only does she look great with a bow, but she is a happy-go-lucky, playful one-year-old. Her favorite pastimes include learning new tricks. And Lisa, or Linda, she's really smart dog. What kind of dog is she? She's kind of a mix of a Boston Terrier, pit bull, something. I don't know what she is, but she's very friendly. Perfect compact size for traveling, walking. Look at her, she's so cute. Oh, yes, yeah, she's only a year old, so we don't really know too much about her. But she's so super friendly. She's, she found my treat pocket. I think I'm in trouble here. <laughs> Look at the camera there. Come on, Trixie. Say hi to everybody. Well, this is beautiful Trixie. Perfect as companion. As you heard, the Arizona Humane Society has reached full capacity with felines in an effort to save more lives. We sent 50 kittens on a road trip to Texas. Our partners there at the SPCA had available kennels and eager adopters waiting to take home a kitten or two. You can find out more about their journey and cute photos of these Lone Star felines by visiting azhumane.org. Now, as a hap happy as we are to see those felines go out um, to Texas and find their new homes, there's still hundreds of others waiting for new homes at the Arizona Humane Society. Perry, Hazel, and Willow here are just two of many felines to choose from. Right, Ashley, and they were fostered for being underweight. This is a very, very common fostering region. Wheeze, and they have to be at least two pounds and two months of age. Uh, you know, we have about 500 foster families right now, and that sounds like a big number, and it is a good number. Kudos to those people who've been doing that, but, you know, sadly enough, it's not enough. 500 families is not enough. We need more fosters, so if you're interested, please go to our website and check out our foster orientations. These little guys right here, they are adorable. They are just amongst about 100 kittens and cats we have on the floor right now. So if you're interested in these guys, the foster family said they were curious, playful, they love to jump, they love to explore, and finally they love to chase the dog around the house. So they're good with doggies too. So oh come on boy. down, check out Willow and Hazel. Scientists at Tijin have teamed up with the Arizona Humane Society to conduct a study uh, for dogs to better treatment for valley fever. It's a fungus found in the soil that dogs are especially susceptible to. Tijin needs 8,000 more samples of doggy drool. And whether your dog has uh, valley fever or not, you can help us with this study by visiting tijin.org forward slash VF pause and requesting a test kit. It's just a quick cheek swab and it could help us advance research and better treat this disease. We wrap up the show with Amber. Uh, she's one of those dogs that just loves to be near people. I think I spent about 15 minutes giving her a belly rub, Lisa. She is leaning on you right now. What a sweetheart. She is definitely people-oriented. She is a one-year-old Australian Shepherd, and she is the perfect mix of beauty and brains. Aussies are such smart dogs. She's beautiful. She's got a beautiful crop tail, wiggly butt all the time, very happy. Um, she's an energetic breed. She needs somebody that's going to be willing to work with her, train her, walk her, play with her. She's going to be a great agility champion. Don't put that brain to waste. Anybody who is thinking about adopting Amber needs to be prepared for somebody that's very, very smart, and she'd be happy to be able to be your training partner, walking partner, whatever. She's a beautiful two-year-old Australian Shepherd. Well, for more information about the pets on today visit azhumane.org or call the number on your screen. Everyone have a great weekend. We'll see you next week with more adoptable pets.